Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome to another Just Cause 3 video. So I'm going to be going over 12 awesome easter eggs that have been discovered in Just Cause 3. And the amount of easter eggs in this game is absolutely awesome and it keeps getting more and more discovered every single day. But I'm going to show you guys all of the coolest ones that I have seen so far. Up first, this is a small little easter egg, um, I guess it's a small little tribute to a YouTuber called Nerdcubed. I believe he's got about 2 million subscribers and as you can see this is his actual YouTube logo so he's got that on the game which is a, a pretty aw awesome accomplishment as a YouTuber to get your logo in a game. I guess because he's been such a big advocate for this game. Next up, this was a small little easter egg found on the isolated island way up at the top left of the map. I'm just going to very quickly show you guys the location so this video isn't too long, so feel free to pause if you want to find any of these exact locations. But this is actually an easter egg from the start menu, as you can see, the very peaceful one-bedded sun lounger on a nice peaceful tropical island. This is it, this is the location. Up next is the Mile High Club. This was a location from the last Just Cause game, Just Cause 2. It was basically a floating nightclub and it looks like it's uh, crash landed here and uh, you can see pe pieces of it scattered around which is a, a nice little easter egg there. At the number 9 spot is the Buster Sword. It's found in basically in the middle of nowhere in Montana region and um, you can see the Buster Sword just sticking out of the mountain here. There's not much you can really do with it. Um, the next few easter eggs are all going to be kind of like this basically. I can attribute to the other sort of Square Enix games that they publish. So this one, if you guys didn't already know, is a very unique sword uh, for Cloud from the Final Fantasy series. Next up, here we've got Thor's Warhammer. Um, it's found in basically this big crater right here. Again, not much you can do, really do with it. I tried blowing it up, shooting it, interacting with it, even attaching a deer to it. But yeah, that one's a cool little find. The next easter egg is a tribute to the Dark Souls game and uh, this one's actually interactable so if you go up to it you can interact with it and light the bonfire and you'll get a little sound effect so this one's kind of nice. This next easter egg is actually a lot of fun. It's a soapbox car that you can get in. I believe there's a couple of locations around the world of Just Cause 3 that you can find this in and uh, when you get in it, there's a bit of a challenge to see how long you can actually stay in it for. So usually they're at quite a high up location and you can uh, take it all the way down a road and it's a lot of fun. The next easter egg is the snowman. This one's actually also from the last Just Cause game and um, you get a pretty cool interaction when you walk up to it. I'll let you guys hear it. So, we meet again, Mr. Snowman. We do indeed meet again. On to number four, this is actually a rubber duck that can be found next to this lake. You actually have to kind of tether it into the water and be careful not to tether it too hard. I actually kind of set the first one on fire so luckily there's a backup one there, there's uh, two rubber duckies. And once you drag it into the water you can actually drive it around like a little boat. Unfortunately you can't save it in your garage, you basically have to just come to this location to ride it but it's a nice little find. So this next one is actually probably one of my favourites, I definitely did not expect to see this in a Just Cause game. And it actually relates back to that whole kind of debate meme thing where there was a white and gold or a blue and black dress and everyone kind of argued over what it actually was. It was a really stupid argument but it's really nice to see that they actually put this one in the game with a little reference here. So onto my top two easter eggs, this one's actually a balloon gun and uh, when you pick this one up your head will instantly kind of get really big. It kind of really reminded me of James Bond Goldeneye, there was a cheat to get really big heads in there, it really kind of reminded me of that game for some reason. And this gun, when you shoot NPCs with it, it'll actually blow up their head as well, so you can shoot them a couple of times, make their head bigger and bigger, and um, eventually get to a stage where it doesn't get any bigger, it doesn't do any actual damage, or you can't explode their head with it, but I guess it is just a little bit of a fun to kind of blow up people's heads. I've also seen some people having a bit of fun with this one because their heads are obviously balloons so you can actually attach NPCs to cars and make them float and stuff like that so it's a pretty cool easter egg. So on to the number one easter egg of this video, this is known as the dodge mode and the location is right here on Soliana, I totally recommend checking it out, it's just across from your garage, you'll notice there's a bit of a, a kind of like a garbage scrap heap pile and um, if you walk along in here you'll actually see a little cute puppy kind of crying on the ground, this little black puppy here. And what you have to do is kind of get him to follow you and uh, take him back to his kennel. And his kennel is actually just across the road so you just need to kind of lead him across here to the road and take him to the other side. Now you're actually supposed to get the puppy to it alive but unfortunately I was run over by an NPC who actually also ran over my dog and kind of squished it into this little pile on the ground. So um, I actually just tried this out of interest, dragging his dead body into the 
into his kennel and it seemed to unlock this easter egg anyway so even if your puppy dies you can still unlock this one. And once you get that indicator you can go over to your options menu and uh, turn this one on in the gameplay options. So once this is turned on, every time you shoot someone, melee someone, explode someone, you'll get these funny little kind of mean comments come up on them like much wow or much melee. I'll show you guys a few examples on screen. It's kind of a funny mode at first. Um, it's not something you'd probably leave on for your whole playthrough, but it's definitely something to turn on if you want a quick rampage or something like that. It can make for some pretty funny moments. So there you go guys, that was my top 12 easter eggs for Just Cause 3. Be sure to leave a comment, let me know which one was your favourite. And also leave a like on the video, it's only one click and really helps it out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.